Come to think of this. You are a Real Madrid player, one of the biggest teams in the world. And you are part of the squad, that won three consecutive UEFA Champions League titles. You must be very proud of this achievement, the first to be done in entire football history. You have become, a legend of the game. And you are at the peak, of your game, which makes you to be considered, one of the best defensive midfielders of your era. You have won all, it is to be won in the Spanish top-flight competition. Nearly every player in Europe, would be willing to play for Real Madrid, but you decide to join Manchester United, a club that is unstable for years, since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson. Many thoughts that is the end of your career, but you prove them wrong, by helping Manchester United in reclaiming, its former grandeur, and notoriety. But who is this footballer? Who completely overhauled Manchester United midfield, and turned them into one of the title contenders, and cemented his status as the greatest defensive midfielder in history? This is the untold story of Carlos Casemiro, and how he proved to the world, that he is one of the best defensive midfielders of the 21st century. Carlos Henrique Casemiro was born on 23rd February, 1992, in the major city of São José dos Campos in the municipality of São Paulo, Brazil. He was the first child of his parents Servando Casimiro and Venancio Magda de Faria Casimiro, while many kids have the privilege of enjoying life with both of their parents. Casimiro's upbringing was fraught with challenges, difficulties, and hardships as he was raised by a single mom, who did everything she could to provide for her son. In fact, his father Servando Casimiro left his family after a misunderstanding with his wife. Casimiro even claimed during an interview, with Globo Sport that if I see him on the street today, I won't recognize him. He had a serious fight with my mother, when I was five and left the family, for my mom to manage. I have wanted to meet him, because I have no grudge against him. It was what God wanted for me. That's why I have always left, it's just the way it is. The Brazilian midfielder has two siblings, Lucas, who is six years younger, and Bianca, 12 years younger. Brazil is one of those countries, where the majority of children try their luck, at becoming professional football players, only as a means of escaping their awful, and horrible misfortunes, of being born into poor families. Because of this, Casemiro was not an exception, when it came to following his love, and playing football in order to one day, leave the impoverished areas of Sao Paulo, and provide his family with a better life. Early on, Casemiro discovered his passion for football, and he quickly began spending time with other kids, playing football on the streets of Sao Paulo, following in the footsteps of many other Brazilian heroes. He was quickly identified, by the Paulista de Fuchibo Academy, a Sao Paulo Academy affiliate, where Nilton Moreira helped Casemiro, develop into the formidable midfielder he is today. Casemiro used to play as either an attacking midfielder, or a full-time striker, but since there were so many applicants trying out for the striker position, he opted to switch to a defensive midfielder instead. At the time, he was unaware that this was the position he was destined to play in all along. He was accepted into the Sao Paulo FC youth team, at a young age after passing the trials, and at the age of 11, he was appointed captain of his team. Despite Casemiro's early discovery, by the scouts of Sao Paulo FC, and his relatively successful start to his football career, his personal life, and the status of his family were not as steady as he may have wanted. For Casemiro, there was no simple path. During his youth, his desire of overcoming poverty, and other challenging problems. He was diagnosed with hepatitis, which make him suffer both psychologically, and physically. It was a blow to a life that was already challenging. He started to lose weight, and was too frail to work out. He was unable to exercise for three months straight while in Sao Paulo. Fortunately, he overcame the sickness, and returned to the field to reach the full extent of his abilities. As soon as I got to Sao Paulo, I had this problem, a disease known as hepatitis, Kazimiru said. I spent some time without training or playing. I was restless, and was worried that I had failed. A lot of people tried to keep my mind at peace. At one point, I thought about quitting football even after I had recovered. My past, and family sufferings, strengthened me most to keep my career going. Having risen up the ranks, at Sao Paulo FC's Youth Academy, Casemiro earned his place in the club's senior side back in 2010. 
His impressive performance at the youth side, had already earned him the honor of being called up for the 2009 FIFA Under-17 World Cup, which was also a significant factor, in the Brazilian gaining much deserved attention early on in his career. His very first professional debut, came in the Serie A on July 25, 2010, when Sao Paulo faced Santos FC in the Brazilian league. However, Casemiro's presence did not help in the end, as his club lost the game. His first professional goal came more than a month later, when he scored one of his team's two goals in the 2-2 draw against Cruzeiro Esporte Clube. Sao Paulo also won the Copa Sudamericana, with the player making one substitute appearance in a 5-0 home win, against Club Universidad de Chile in the quarterfinal second leg on 7 November. It ended up taking the Brazilian star, three years to attract the interest of foreign clubs, who intended to strengthen their midfield by bringing in a promising young player. Real Madrid then came knocking on the door, and signed Casemiro after first loaning, the defensive midfielder from Sao Paulo in 2013, and was assigned to the B team in Segunda División. He played his first game in the competition on 16 February, starting with a 1-3 defeat at CE Sabadell FC. Casemiro made his La Liga debut on April 20, 2013, playing the full 90 minutes in a 3-1 home win over Real Betis. On 2 June, he scored his first goal in Europe, opening the reserves 4-0 win over AD Alcorcón, at the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium. Eight days later, the move was made permanent for four years, with a fee of 6 million euros. Although, the defensive midfielder would have desired a spot in Real Madrid's starting lineup, he was sent on a season-long loan to FC Porto on July 19, 2014. So that he could develop his abilities, in a country where he would be at ease. That is precisely what took place, when the Brazilian displayed his extraordinary skill in Porto. He played in 41 games for the Portuguese team altogether, scoring four goals, including a free kick on March 10, 2015, in a 4-0 home victory over FC Basel in the UEFA Champions League round of 16. Upon the end of his loan spell at the Portuguese side, he returned to Real Madrid, and has since become one of the most vital parts of the club, acting as the club's hero on so many occasions. Being one of the most talented midfielders in Brazil from an early age. After being mostly a reserve player under Rafael Benitez, he became first choice under his successor Zinedine Zidane, and contributed with 11 appearances in that season's Champions League. In the final against Atletico Madrid, he featured the full 120 minutes, as Real Madrid won their 11th title in a penalty shootout after a 1-1 draw. Ah, Casemiro. He saved my life. I might play until I'm 45 with this guy by my side. Marcelo for the Players' Tribune. In the 2016-17 season, Casemiro scored four goals in 25 games, to help his side win the league title, for the first time in five years. He subsequently scored a long-range goal against Juventus FC, in the Champions League final to help his club win 4-1. On August 8, 2017, he scored again to assist his team defeat Manchester United 2-1 in the UEFA Super Cup. He scored one goal in 12 appearances for Madrid in the 2017-18 Champions League, which saw them win their third consecutive and 13th Champions League. He was a regular starter during the season, as Real Madrid won the 2019-20 league title. In August 2021, he extended his contract until 2025. A year later, he was named man of the match, as Real Madrid defeated Eintracht Frankfurt 2-0, for their fifth UEFA Super Cup title. Casemiro is one of those distinguished players, with five Champions League awards, and three La Liga titles to his name. Casemiro's nickname, the Tank, actually gives a lot about the type of player the Brazilian is. Although he lacks the necessary agility, and skill to be a technical midfielder, he more than makes up for it with his impressive strength, and technical ability, both of which have increased significantly under the management of Zinedine Zidane, and have helped Casemiro develop into the complete midfielder he has now become. Of course, the Brazilian is also incredibly versatile, and can be used as a defensive midfielder when necessary, or even as a box-to-box -box midfielder in the middle. However, the main position where he feels most comfortable, is without a doubt deep in the middle of the field. Casemiro is unquestionably a powerful defensive midfielder when you combine his aggression, high mentality, and intellect with a great work ethic. By limiting the ball movement, or by immediately regaining possession of the ball, with his strong, brutal tackles, the Brazilian can offer coverage on both sides, and in the middle.
On August 19, 2022, Real Madrid and Manchester United announced that they had reached an agreement for the transfer of Casemiro. Three days later, he signed a four-year contract with the English club, with an option for an additional year's extension. The deal was reportedly worth £60 million, plus £10 million in add-ons. He made his debut for the club, when he came on as a substitute in a Premier League, away win at Southampton on 27th of August. On 22nd of October, he scored his first Premier League goal from a header, in the 94th minute in a 1-1 away draw against Chelsea. On January 28, 2023, he scored a brace for United in a 3-1 win over Reading in the FA Cup. Casemiro has the ability to control the midfielder, and make the teamwork run smoothly in addition to being able to shoot potent long-range shots. These skills have been extremely helpful, for Manchester United in recent season, with the midfielder saving the English Giants one or two points in important matches. His outstanding endurance has also allowed his managers to use him week in, and week out, without being concerned about him being fatigued, or injured during games, and losing form for the remainder of the season. His absence caused Manchester United to lose to Arsenal 3-2, stressing his impact. Casemiro is a versatile midfielder who can contribute offensively, and even score goals, in addition to breaking up moves. He can initiate attacks with his passes, and possesses great outside shooting, good distribution, and the ability to run with the ball and go forward. Casemiro met his wife when he was playing for Sao Paulo. After they approached each other, they found it amusing and enjoyable to hang out. The Brazilian defensive midfielder is married to Ana Mariana Ortega Brahm, a native Brazilian, who has been married to Casemiro since 2014. Ana Mariana is in fact three years older than her husband, which adds the Real Madrid man to a long list of professional footballers who are married to women older than themselves. The couple gave birth to their first child, a daughter named Sarah, on March 6, 2016 and are currently expecting their second child together, having announced the big news earlier this year. Ana Mariana Casemiro, is famous for being the wife, of the Manchester United star. Her parents ensured a comfortable childhood, where she had access to an abundance of wealth, and luxury. However, instead of sitting on her parents' money, she had the enthusiasm for building something of her own. Anna completed her education in Brazil, she graduated with a bachelor's degree in business administration. Anna was passionate about fashion, and makeup from an early age. Due to her enthusiasm for the industry, she decided to be a makeup artist. Her parents and husband support her, which made things easier for her. Anna had high faith in her husband's career, and supported him throughout his professional journey. Casemiro scored one goal, in seven appearances for the Brazil Under-17 team. He played for the Brazil Under-20 team, at the 2011 South American Championship, and the 2011 World Cup, scoring three goals in 15 appearances in total at this level. He made his debut for the Brazil senior side on September 14, 2011, in a 0-0 draw against Argentina, aged just 19. He was named by manager Dunga, in the Brazilian squad for the 2015 Copa America, but did not play any matches in the quarterfinal exit in Chile. On May 5, 2016, he was named among the 23-man list, for the Copa America Centenario to be held in the United States. In May 2018, Casemiro was selected by manager Tite, for the FIFA World Cup in Russia. He made his debut in the competition on 17 June, playing 60 minutes in a 1-1 group stage draws to Switzerland. In May 2019, he was included in Brazil's 23-man squad for the 2019 Copa America on home soil. In the final group game at the Arena Corinthians against Peru, he scored his first international goal to open a 5-0 victory, but was also sent off for two yellow cards and suspended from the next match. He started in Brazil's 3-1 victory over Peru in the 2019 Copa America final on 7 July, at the Maracanã Stadium. He was named to the 2021, Copa America squad on June 9, 2021. In Brazil's third group match on 23rd of June, he scored the match-winning goal following a Neymar corner in injury time, to help his team defeat Colombia 2-1. On 10th of July, he started in his nation's 1-0 defeat to rivals Argentina in the final. The Brazilian superstar has since made a total of 48 appearances for his national team, scoring three goals and providing two assists in the process. He is also known to be a tough and rough defender, which is why he has accumulated a total of 13 yellow cards in those 48 caps. <laughs>